some bling there too. So a couple of fun projects there. Okay, so now this is our next card that I'm gonna show you guys. And I loved, so the other one was maybe more about the punching and kind of building the, the whale using your um, builder punch. This one I really wanted to show you all the fun details with the embossing folder and with the stamping that you can do. So this is what we're gonna do next. All right, so let me again tell you dimensions. So this time we have a pool party. No, no, no. This is Pacific Point, excuse me, Pacific Point cardstock. Again, along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half and along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, so there's our card base. And then we have, I did them both the same, Just Jade, our, our new kind of dusty green in color, so pretty four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then our whisper white piece, I did the same size on the outside and on the inside because we're doing this at class today. And I know if I have two different sizes, somebody is gonna stamp on the bigger one that I would intend for the inside. So we just did them both the same size. So there's no confusion. So you need two pieces of whisper white, three and three quarter by five inches. Okay, and then just some scrap paper for the cute little whale done sentiment there. Okay, all right, so we're gonna do our stamping first on both of these. We will do, let's do the coral on that one and kind of get that done before I forget to do it, is what I really want to say. Okay, oh, here's the ribbon too. You can barely see it, right? Pool party sheer, it's beautiful. I love, it's almost like an organza. It makes beautiful bows. I love that kind of ribbon. Okay, we're gonna get our stamps and our ink. We'll do that one. So we want our coral first because we're gonna stamp our coral on this piece. So we're gonna open that guy up. Okay, so I'm just gonna stamp one right there and one right there, okay? So we've got the inside piece done. Now we're gonna flip that back open and we're gonna do the outside. I'm just gonna keep that open because I'm gonna need that in a moment. We're gonna start with our Just Jade ink and kind of the seaweed. And you're gonna do a bit of stamping here with this one. Do that maybe there and there. And then we're gonna go there and maybe put that one right there. That's funny, that last time I stamped off, I don't feel like it did anything over here. So I'm gonna have to do it again. Let's do it again right now. There, get a little something going there. Okay, and we're gonna do one more there and one more there, okay? So I like that light and dark kind of look. I want one more, one more, one more right there. Okay, there. So that is our seaweed, I guess you would say. Let's pull our coral back in, calypso coral, and we'll stamp our coral right there. I did a teeny one right there, and maybe that one right there, okay? Now, actually, you know what I think I wanna do? Because this was really helpful for me. I had to do this card two times, and it was because I didn't like where I put my fish originally. So I stamped this and punched it out and laid it on here and then stamped around and I liked much better how that turned out. So let's kind of move off of this thing for a sec. We're going to grab our pool party ink and our whale. And where's my, here it is. <laughs> where's my scrap of white? Okay, so we're going to stamp our whale. Okay, and then I also am going to do my whale done, my sentiment, the whale done. We're going to do that one while we have our white paper out in, this is in Just Jade ink. Put that one down there. Okay, all right, so we've got that, we got everything. Okay, now let's do our, let's punch out our whale. And let's see, pop this in here. So you just have to kind of maneuver it around. Sorry, again, I'm like looking for myself and not for you guys. Okay. Mm. Is that good? I thought it was, and I almost punched, and then I'm like, no, I don't like it. Sorry, I'm being futzy here. Okay, so we only need the whale piece for this one. All those extra bits we can just get rid of. We're going to die cut that in a sec. Okay, so actually bring this back into place. I need to be looking at what I'm doing. So I want to put my whale maybe right about there. So now with my hello, Miss Vina, how are you? Glad you can join us. Okay, so now I want to stamp my fish. So we're gonna do some swimming there, a little bit off the page there, some coming in behind my dolphin. Let's see, hmm, maybe some right there. So we're kind of framing our, our, our whale 
our whale, not our dolphin, our whale. There we go, okay? So I think that looks good. All right, I think we got everything. Now, let's actually, we'll put some dimensionals behind our whale. Oh, why did I not move that fan over here? I was kind of convinced that it wasn't gonna be as warm today, but it still feels really warm, ladies. Okay, so we've got our whale. We need to emboss this piece, and then we also need to die cut our whale done, okay? So we're gonna do both of those, and then we will finish putting this little baby together. Okay, so let's we'll do the die cutting first with the sentiment. Can we get that going there? Okay. Yeah, that's this piece. <laughs> oh my. Help me, ladies, help me. And where did it go? Oh, it is. Huh, okay. So we're using an, a bunch of these other. <laughs> these are the super cute, the Hippo and Friends dies. And Sharon, if you're watching, I had not paid any attention to these dies until you mentioned them. So they go with the like Hippo and Friends stamp set that we're using on a class, a uh, card class a card at class today. So we're using a couple of those. They're actually two more sizes of that uh, shape of a die. Um, but then they've got all these other labels too. So they're, they've got the hippo and the friends and then they've got all these like other labels. And that's what Sharon was telling us at our meeting last month. Like you gotta check out all the labels, even if you don't want the hippo stuff, you gotta get these dies um, because of all the labels. So actually here, we're gonna use that. Oh, are you gonna be futzy? I guess I put that down in there too far. Oh my gosh. So this is the smallest little label right there. That's what we're gonna use on this one. But I had to show you guys all of those dies. Now I have to put them on the counter so I remember to take them back <laughs> down to the studio because I want everybody to see them that were, that's coming to class today too. Okay, so here we go. We got our little, <laughs> like what's Sharon saying? I might have to scroll back. Oh. Haha, <laughs> okay, yes, they are great. Someday I'll see the, what, did you give them away or something, Sharon? I'm trying to figure out when you say someday I'll see them again. I thought you had more comments, but I don't see anything else. Okay, so we've got that one. Don't need that. Ooh, I do need that in there, though. Okay, so now we are gonna do our embossing. Isn't this fun? The seabed embossing folder. So you kinda can see it there, right? It is beautiful, and I posted a card that I found on Facebook that um, did this embossing on a white piece of cardstock without any stamping, and it was striking. So check that out. It's right here on our Facebook group if you haven't seen that yet. I can't remember who made the card, but it was beautiful. Okay, so we're just gonna pop that right in there. This is a 3D embossing folder, so you need that blue plate. Something seems a little askew here. Okay, I think we got it. It felt kind of tight the first time I did it. Oh, 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 I see. Because you're getting new um, flooring, aren't you, Sharon? She's saying her craft room is completely empty. Oh, yeah. I gotcha. Let me tell you, the bathroom remodels are done. That was a long process, ladies. I think it was close to four weeks. On and off, not like all day, every day, but enough just to like disturb pretty much every day. <laughs> and lots of... Lots of chaos, and I'm not a big fan of chaos. So I'm really, really, plus they're, it's beautiful. The bathrooms are beautiful now, and they were like, it was way overdue for that to happen. So very, very grateful that we did it. Very, 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 very grateful that it's done. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put some dimensionals behind. Oh, yes, um, Vina, yes, you can. You can just buy the punch. So, and that's always the case with the bundles. You can buy, so yeah, you can buy, the stamp set separately, the punch separately, or you can get it in the bundle and that's when you save 10% when you buy both of them together. They basically take the price of the punch, the price of the stamp set, they take off 10% and that's the bundle price. But yeah, you can always get them separately too, okay? If you don't think you need the, the stamp set itself. Okay, so before I forget, let's run a little bit of ribbon. I just put a little strip. I had to give you guys, bows didn't seem quite appropriate on these cards, but I had to, I had to give you some ribbon somewhere, so I just kind of put a little strip. And I did, this was another thing I was being kind of anal about too. I wanted to like be particular about where my whale done went, and I think that looks good, because I was covering up the fish and I didn't like it. Um, hold on, we gotta put this piece on the Just Jade and then, then we will do that. Okay, so let's try. I think Sharon said, kind of lift up. 
I'm still flicking because I can't not do that. But maybe that's it. That, that actually, okay, other than that, I want to go faster than that. That worked well. Okay, so again, we've got the ribbon right here. I'm going to put that little baby. Okay, I think that looks good. I didn't like where I put it, like I said, so I learned, which is good, right? Learn while I'm like making the card and not while I'm doing it with you guys. Okay. All right, I think I'm getting better. Thanks, Sharon. Maybe that's all I needed to know. Kind of tip it up. All right, I think we got enough adhesive on there too so we can add this baby right onto our card front. Miss Diana, welcome. Hello, hello. Glad you can be here with us. Okay, and you know, this is another little thing that I have when I use dimensionals because those are gonna end up sticking right to the ribbon and then it kind of like pops around. So we're gonna grab a couple of the little baby ones so that I can get it kind of on top and bottom of that ribbon. It seems like maybe a little bit of overkill, but it, it's just a little pet peeve that I have when, it, when these things aren't sticking to the card, when they're kind of popping around on top of the ribbon. So if we do that, I think we've got enough dimensionals on there. And then we have our whale for our whale done. It, yes, the colors are, yes, they're so fun, aren't they? I think this is another one of those pa paper packs when I was flipping through, cat through the catalog, I was like, ooh, good color combination. That's a good thing to think about too, ladies. If you're ever kind of stumped um, with a color, you know, not know where to begin, like what colors to put together, look through the catalog. They always have, you know, beautiful color combinations. And with the designer series paper, they even tell you exactly what the colors were that they used. So great inspiration there, great kind of starting point if you need that, which I do sometimes. Okay, so now we're gonna add a few more of our elegant faceted gems. This time we are gonna put, where did I put them? I think you can just kind of sprinkle them around. That's kind of the fun of these, right? Maybe we'll put one, maybe one up there and one more. Where are we gonna put it? Mm, maybe down here. So just to add a little bit more kind of dimension to your project. Okay, I think we did it, ladies. How about that? All right, maybe with some time to spare. Well, not much. I was hoping to, <laughs> not really, but I, I was, well, I definitely did keep it under an hour, which I don't always do. Oh, actually, hold on, not quite done. Let's put this on the inside of our card. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of it. All right, just lift up, lift up with a little bit of angle. Okay, now we're gonna be done. We're gonna pop this little baby right in there. Okay, and we are good. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed these projects. Thank you, Nancy, I appreciate that. I thought they were pretty fun too. This is just a really fun, cute suite to work with. I just have to say, right? Okay, so quick recap as always, so you guys just make sure you know what's going on, right? Scoot that down a little bit, there we go. Okay, so put your online order in, make sure this is the host code you're gonna wanna use. Spend at least $30, you're gonna get both of these projects that we just demonstrated, and you're gonna get the name, your name, in the drawing to win the Zany Zebras stamp set, right? Then, if you bump your order up to $50, as always, you can pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial for July or July's Free Embellishment, which are the super fun. You can maybe see them a little bit better. At least I can see them better now. The Butterfly Gems, okay? Ooh, plus you also get your $5 bonus day coupon when you bump your order up to $50. So great time to put your orders in and enjoy some fun new products. So thank you guys so much. I missed you guys last Friday. It was kind of one of those just weird holiday weekend kind of thing. So thank you, I appreciate the pass on not having Facebook Live. Summer's gonna be a little like that, I feel like. So anyway, but it's good to get out and enjoy the summer too, and hopefully you guys are doing that. So you guys have a great weekend. Uh, stay cool and maybe dry wherever you are, although the rain has been good too, hasn't it? So thank you guys, I'm glad you enjoyed the cards. It was fun hanging out with you guys, and we will see you next Friday. Bye everybody.